John Moore reporting for sportsandmore.com from the Anthony Nish Arena. Citadel Phoenix with a 4-1 victory over Dr. J.H. Gillis here in the championship game. The gold medal, Coach Tucker, joining me here. Congratulations, Coach Tucker. Tell me about your team's performance here in this gold medal game. Well, it was an uh, uh, unbelievable gutsy performance. We had uh, a number of kids who were uh, hurting. We had one with a sore knee. One had new skates at the start of the tournament, and she had blisters on her feet. And they uh, Just an incredible gutsy performance. And for the... Uh, Second game in a row, we came out in the third period and dominated. This team came from behind in the tournament. It established a bit of a reputation of coming back in the third period. Talk about the character of this team. Uh, unbelievable. Uh, the uh, the semifinal last night, we were down 3-0 to Sir John A. and a very good hockey team going into the third period. And our players just took the game over. And it was uh, an amazing performance. We won 4-3. Um, a gutsy performance by the whole team. Every coach believes the championship team is special. Give me a reason or two why this championship team, in your eyes, is so special. Well, that's an interesting question. It's, it's special because of the kids. Um, there's a lot of determination, um, in particular last night and tonight, but between the second and third period intermission, and all, uh, one of our captains got up and, and talked to the girls and motivated them to... Uh, to go to go get it and um, and the and the players responded and it's an interesting mix because we've got a mixture of, of grade 12s graduating kids and, and grade 11 and grade 10 and and our goaltender performance tonight was nothing short of amazing uh, a grade 10 kid who just unbelievable I can't believe it the, the glove yeah. stop she made in the second period just blew me away tell me a little bit about the emotions here you just uh, I have moments after winning the provincial championship. Well, it's pretty tough for me. This is my last game, but I honestly couldn't think of a better way to end it, like winning a provincial championship with my best friends. I've had so much fun with this organization. The, I just talked to your coach. He talked about the, some of the, the uniqueness, specialness in this hockey club. Can you expand on that, what you see is so special about this club? Yeah, I mean, it's really cool. We have grade 12s and grade 10s, and we're all such good friends. Like, it really brings the school together, and there's such a pride and great school spirit behind it. Now, you had to fight through a little adversity, uh, not only here this afternoon, but earlier, a new pair of skates, and uh, yeah. tell me a little bit about dealing with that and the pain involved. Well, my feet hurt pretty bad right now, but in the third period, I had so much adrenaline pump, and I didn't even feel it confidence going in the third you know they were a good team right you knew that they were going to push here yeah. and yet you responded tell me a little bit about the third yeah I mean we haven't been ahead yet in this tournament that was the first like we were always down and yesterday coming off four goals in the third period we knew we could do it in the dressing room like if we all worked hard we knew we could pop a couple goals in the third they pushed you got some great goaltending do you not she played unreal she stood in her head and uh, for you, you, you're an athlete, you play a lot of different sports, you've had a lot of success. Where does this championship sit in your, in your athletic world? I mean, right now all the emotions are flowing about all like, the great times I've had on the ice and on the field throughout my minor uh, hockey and soccer experience, but th I don't think this can top anything. Honestly, it's great. <laughs> oh, I got so many emotions. It's my last year playing hockey ever, but it's a good way to end the my last year so for the provincial final that's all we could hope for um going into the season it was gonna be we were pretty good then we started losing a little bit then we got our heads up and the whole tournament we were the comeback kids mm. we were down or tied going into the third period and we never gave up we all like gave it our all and i'm just so happy that we were able to pull through with yeah. tell, tell me about how confident was this team coming in I mean, a lot of good teams here coming into this tournament, and, and then you get the, the top team in, in the championship game. But tell me about the team's confidence. Uh, I'd say we were pretty confident, but we didn't want to come in overconfident because sometimes when teams come in overconfident, they, go, they don't go out and play their best. So we were just going in like pretty relaxed, which was good. And we just wanted to play our game. We didn't want them to throw us off. We just wanted to play our game. You scored a massive goal. That, that first goal sort of set the tone. Tell me about that. <laughs> Honestly, I was just trying to get it out of our end. And I just wanted to shoot it on net and hope for the best. And just scored a nice goal. Yeah, you've won championships before, Jane. Uh, I know that. Uh, but tell me about this one, where it, where it sits in your, your athletic world. Oh, this one's definitely going to be one I remember. This is the first time the Citadel girls hockey team has ever won provincial, so 
That's, I mean, that's pretty amazing that we were able to do that. Describe the emotions right now going through that body. Uh, it was a great feeling, like, worked so hard and happy we won. Came from behind, a couple dramatic victories, pulling it yeah. out in the third. Tell, tell me how this team came together during this tournament. Um, we worked really hard and we just came through every, every game, third period, we always came back and won. It was in this, the championship game, since against such a, such a, such a tough opponent here, yeah. scored early. That yeah. goal was, was, tell me how big that was. Oh, it was a huge part in the game and it really made us just want to work harder and You've win. Been playing hockey for a long time. Where does this, uh, where does this sit in, in Sophie's career? Um, it's my last game, and it's really sad, but it's been a great time. Congratulations. Thanks. It's absolutely unreal. This is our last year, so it's very emotional for all the assistant captain and the captain. Um, I can't believe it, to be honest. Coach Tucker talked about it being a special team. You tell me why this is so, such a special team. We're such a good family and we work together and we know what works with each other and we actually support each other the whole time, no matter what, good or bad. Coming into this game, you're in against the top top, top team. You score the first goal. Tell me about the confidence that you perhaps pulled away from that, getting a lead where you've had to battle back earlier in this tournament. Um, it was it was insane. It was, uh, it was a lot of, it, it was emotional when Jane got the goal. Um, we definitely got a boost of confidence, but we started to lose it uh, during the second. However, we got in the change room, we boosted the girls back up, and we were like, we're a third period game. We're going to kill it, we're going to do this, and we're going to win. Where, where, what does this mean to you? You're gonna, this is it for you at high school, right? You're moving on, right? But tell me about this. What does this mean to you? This means absolutely everything. I couldn't imagine finishing hockey any other way than winning with this team. They're absolutely amazing, and I love them. Congratulations. Thank you.